Hello, and welcome. I am Zinder, and this is Space Engineers. There's a mining carriage over there. But, we're not going to care about that one, because we have one here. And the reason why I have this locked down here, and it's supposed to have four landing gears, but I kind of bumped the platform. Uh, so we don't need these. These don't need to be here. We're going to repurpose this ship, because I'm too lazy to build my own, and this already is covered with massive amounts of cargo containers, and we're going to build our mining ship by ripping apart this mining carriage and changing it in the way that we need. So, we also don't need this connector. Oh, there's nothing in it. Good. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to rip this down, and let's see, this... Well, this is actually probably fine as it is, but we want to square this out. And I'm going to try and reduce the girth of this as much as possible. Uh, I'm thinking I can get it down to a 5x5, five five, I hope. But, oh, my inventory is full. So, there's going to end up being a lot of, like, stripping off of pieces and whatnot. But I'm definitely looking to get it down to a 5x5. Five five. Okay. Uh, that said, we need these corner pieces out of here. I'm going to want to replace blocks. Where's the interior light here? Alright. Because those were the, uh, those are the red lights that show up. Yeah, we don't need those. I'm probably going to replace these with heavy armor blocks because I do not want this falling apart. So I guess I should probably tear this down. Uh, part of the reason why I'm going to do 5x5 five five is because the containers are 3x3x3. Uh, three by three by three, and I want to make sure that I have a heavy armor outer layer. Partly because uh, you can't trust the cargo containers. They apparently have no armor value and will just break if they touch anything. And then there's the singular fact of... I don't... Uh, well, first of all, I just don't trust them. And then I don't trust how well they're held together. If that makes any sense. I don't trust them to be held together by each other. So I'm going to replace those with heavy armor blocks and fill those in. And I'm going to do just a line of heavy armor blocks the whole way up the side of this. So the front drill setup is probably going to be 5x5. Five five. Now, I s had told the machine to make enough for 3x3. Three three. What? No! But, I mean, there's only so much you can do. Okay, scrap metal, you can get refined. Uh, this is over the gravity, although the gravity only goes so far. Uh, I think I'm in a good enough position to start this off. See, this is, this is part of what I'm talking about. I can't actually mount anything to these directly. So what I have to do is bring them in like that. Uh, partly because... Well, that's awkward. They're not a perfect size. Really? What? Wait, wait, wait. That's awkward. Is it just because these are displaced because they're not finished? I don't fully understand what's going on here. Something is not right. Now, one of these, this one. There's a lot of plates in it. 
I may have to slightly alter my plan because that's buggy. Oh, right. I have it latched down. Uh. I'm curious as to how these are going to adjust themselves once they're finished. Are they going to match up? I think they might match up. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so... Are you going to match up, or... What? the hell? Okay. Uh, I have the power turned off on this. I'm thinking I need to turn it back on and turn on the gyroscopes. Well, turn it back on so the gyroscopes are running and the dampeners are running. Oh. Okay. Uh, I have a feeling that 3x3 three three cargo containers are not quite right. Oh. What? Why did you become detached? See, this is a part of the reason why I'm going to run a solid line the whole way up through, and I'm probably also going to ring it around, because this is not supposed to be happening. Ow, uh. Well, I just welded myself. Okay, where am I? What? Why am I down here? I need my dead body. Oh, and apparently my coloring has turned off. Okay. There and then there. Let's weld this and see what happens. Okay. Good. I'm assuming, because it's the only thing I can come up with, it detached. And things are a bit buggy, if you can't tell. Come on. Oh, I'm out of plates. Really? That fast? That doesn't seem right. Apparently I am out of plates. Does this line up properly then? Okay, that's better. That was really odd. I'm gonna need a ton of steel plates. But let's see. What is the base component required in order to place a drill? Steel plates. Can I place a drill in the front of this, or do I need to move it? I need to move it. Okay, door, I've had enough of you. Do, 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 do. I mean, I suppose now it's just kind of like meaningless little work, but I mean, last episode was pretty exciting, I would say. So I'm not too concerned.
I just got message on Steam. The message said, and I quote, Play APB, damn it. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll be back with you once I've got all this stuff welded in place because I more or less want to fly it at this point. I want to make sure that I don't remember if I muted TeamSpeak and whatnot. So, I'll be back with you shortly. And we are back. And here's what I've done. I've moved these thrusters. Everything is contained within the 5x5 outer shell. I've got the 5x5 five five of drills here, so that is uh, a lot of drills. But uh, everything should be connected and good to go now. It's pretty much exactly how it was, only a bunch of things were moved, uh, like slopes and stuff were exchanged out for much more solid, like complete blocks. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to keep it like colored black because it's a bit hard to see but I've got the drills on the thing here and I think we're ready to go for a test run I still have crap in the small cargo container I didn't actually mean to put that on uh oh I can't disable use conveyor on that oh uh, well uh I guess we're ready to try then the thrust here because I'm trying to prevent that bounce back. That might be a potential problem. I might have to expand it out one meter. Depending on how much of an issue that's going to be. Okay. Backing out. I'm going to have to survey the damage. These steel plates are a bit expensive to replace for me at the moment. Uh, looks like they're mostly just deformed. Doesn't look like I've actually lost any. Which is, of course, very good. This is part of the reason why I think I don't want it to be... Uh, black because then I can't really tell what's going on although who knows maybe I'll leave parts of it black and then I'll have parts of it yellow I feel like the yellow is a bit off mostly because it's not the same yellow and this is more of a direct yellow as opposed to an orange but I don't think I've actually lost any oh okay so I did lose some steel plates out of some of these oh I did lose an entire block here yeah the easiest way to fix that would be to expand it out pretty good hole here though now uh, let's have a look-see in the side of the drills. So, we've got 450,000 iron. We've got stone, we've got siliton. Oh, I hit some magnesium. And that should be pretty much all of what we got from that one. So we're looking at about a quarter of a million per run. And I want to cut out at least... A uh, decent-sized hole. 
Because my original plan was going to try and hide it mostly inside the asteroid, but that's not going to be very plausible with this ship. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut in a decent sized hole where that I can then work off of. Where I can actually rotate the ship for additional movements. And then after I do that, I'm going to build inside. And I'm basically going to cover up the front with a giant, like, set of metal plating. Oh, and another thing, using the heavy armor plate helps stabilize the ship. to the ship on that one. Looks like I probably did a little bit more. Uh, hmm. it's still being held together, so there's that. sideways. I am going to have to check and see which direction the blocks get faced because I might have to modify the hole that I'm digging if a new station ends up in a less than desirable angling. Okay. New station. Ooh. Did I? There's no way I accidentally put this at exactly the right angle. There's no way. There has to be something that makes it so it goes a specific way. Down, 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 and this should be good. I actually want to move the ship. I, don't, I think it's too late to move it down this far. But notice how it was bouncing. Oh, oh we're over saving. Notice how it was bouncing before, but if I'm sitting here tapping it. The amount of balancing it does is drastically reduced. mining this isn't quite my biggest concern right now is that if I'm not careful 
I'm going to end up ripping the whole ship apart. That is pretty much my biggest worry at this exact moment. But it, I think I'm about to even out the damage across the ship. This should hopefully end up making it so the bottom of the ship is more likely to get damaged currently. That could actually be a bad thing. For all I know, what that could do is make it so the whole ship falls apart. Maybe the whole bottom is, you know, what's holding it together at this point. But I think it's really too late to worry about that. downside is this is about this is going to be roughly 10 blocks tall actually for safety's sake we'll go with it's probably a 9 square by a decent length which to be honest this is would this would be probably a perfect size hole for a ship grinder which I do want to make one where it's basically a tunnel like this. And then, you know, I could make like a series of pistons or something. Or just attach an artificial mass onto a ship. And then I don't have to worry about anything else, really. If that makes any sense. Or I could just do what I've been doing, set it up so I just drive it in. Which I don't know. I don't see anything really against that, but I do need to add more drills to this, and I'm going to have to repair the damage that is done, but all in all, considering that this is basically a repurposed stolen ship, I'm quite pleased with how well this has turned out. Uh, another... Thing I want to check. I'm getting a bunch of damage towards the what midsection? Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That's oh no! Luckily, everything is collected in what I'm assuming is the first cargo container in the line. Uh, got over a million iron. Wow. Uh, hmm. I kind of want to do something silly with that fact. Should I fly that back, or should I focus more on just bringing everything over here? Uh, oh, 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 oh. The, the real question is, if I were to go to make a station, I'm going to have to do a little bit of, probably, hand drilling to adjust this. Uh, I could make a pretty good station in here. Although, I might want to try and make this bigger, but I might need a smaller ship to pull off that, because I don't want to make the front of this any bigger. Although, well, I don't really want to ding this up anymore either. But I still have a whole cargo container, right? How was this whole system connected to these cargo containers? Maybe it wasn't? Because there's the small cargo container here, and I swore I was moving things between it and the large ones. I must be insane. But I want to put a connector on here because, well, let's face it, 
that much iron or that much of blocks in general is going to be ridiculous to get out of there. Uh, I think I'm gonna move this. I might make a small ship with some drills on it. If I do that, it won't actually be that big of a deal. And, like, I've got quite a bit of materials, but it's mostly collected between iron, some magnesium, a little bit of nickel, mostly silicon, and, well, stone I don't really care about. But I'm probably going to need the gravel. I think the arc reactor takes... I think it takes reactor components, maybe? I'll have to look into it. Oh, 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 flew past. I'm definitely going to need to fix what's wrong with this now, but I believe we have reached the end. I'm going to put, we'll probably replace those, expand the drills out around the sides, one more layer. Put in two more cargo containers, and definitely put a connector somewhere. Uh, right now, I'm actually really glad I made these the the things. But if I put a cargo container back in, I'm going to probably put a connector right here. So, I want to make sure that this isn't going to fall apart any more than it already has. Intentionally took that apart. See, this is what I'm talking about. I can't actually see the damage because pretty much the entire ship is black. But it looks like most of the damage was collected in one spot towards the back of the ship. Let's just color the whole thing yellow. Oh, there is some damage here. Mm. And I guess while I'm at it, make that all the same color. But those aren't heavy armor blocks, so they already look out of place. I'm pretty sure there's a faster way to do this, where I could basically do the whole ship at once, but I'm kind of lazy. Well, I am lazy, but I'm also too lazy to figure out how to do that. So, I'm just going to hold down middle mouse. Really need to wrap up. Just thought I would get this done. Okay. So, what I'm probably going to do... I'm probably going to spend some time maybe live streaming if... It's not being a broken and an unstreamable mess. Not the game, but my internet. And during that, I will probably be working on mining that out. Look at that nice, perfect square. But yes, we need to wrap up, so I'm going to call this good. Uh, if I'm going to live stream, I'm going to end up putting out a notice. So, yeah. But, I'm going to call this good, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.